I want to I want to hear like plug it into Rock Band on the side, get a, like a splitter or something, and just uh, tell me what those notes are he's playing on. So playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> It just turns out that, uh, yeah, that Beethoven just turns out <laughs> to be like this hype combo. All right, so here we go. Right into the match, we got Cell, Trunks, and Goku. Um, I believe that is Gono's team, Greg. Uh, and Android 21, Cell, and I believe another Goku. Yeah, they're both running Cell. He's a very popular character. Very, very, uh, Frieza, sorry. Okay. And uh, JCT on the right, Greg on the left. And Android 21, uh, another popular character. I mean, we talked about her already, but uh, lots of range on her normals and really good conversion still. Got uh, those moves from you. Nice 2H uh, in the corner, guessing right and putting a lot of damage on Gono's Cell. Yep, and gets that uh, Frieza assist to extend the combo. Uh, has this cell at half life? He's gonna try and find a hit here so he can switch out, I believe. Definitely want to save your characters where you can. He's got lots of blue life, but ooh, that's not good. Yeah, big conversion here. Will he kill? Oh, ooh, maybe calls in the wow. Frieza. That took a lot of damage. Oh, oh no, but the, yeah, I think the Frieza missed. Yeah, maybe the timing was a little too early, which I believe is probably the case. Yeah, and he's got to be kicking himself because that cell could have been dead, and it's so important to put away those characters. Uh, but JCT always still has an opportunity to snap Cell back in and try to finish him off. But not when Greg is laying on the pressure. Yeah, gets that Cell pressure in, gets a mix-up into a dead... dead. Android yeah. 21. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> A hard knockdown. Yeah, that's a hard knockdown. Okay, okay. Okay, four Dragon Balls. Just throwing it out there. This is my one wish. My one wish is to see Shenron on screen. Okay, I think I'll have a reflect in there to. It's going to be back. a thing, you know that? It's going to be a thing down the road where it's oh, like yeah. they're going to do it. It's like the instant kills in Guild Gear. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. It's like someone's going to do it. I want to see it. I really want to see it. And like, just lab all the combos so you get know exactly which Dragon Ball comes with which combo and then just throw it out there. I want to see it. And all right. Greg getting back in there with Cell. Yeah, not Spider. Oh, sorry. It's so the JCT Cell. My bad. Oh. Um, but Greg doing very well, able to get rid of Android 21, so he's got a character advantage. Yeah, early and lead and gets the hit on Cell to get this combo. Greg is not spending any bars, sitting on seven right now. And uh, I know earlier I was watching uh, JCT play, he was uh, actually quite vocal about uh, his own Cell play, <laughs> saying that he doesn't understand how this character works. His own uh, Cell. His own Cell. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Very, uh, very interesting to see that he's still using this character, but Sal obviously um, on a lot of teams, like very oh, yeah. solid character. Yeah, great, great normals, convert off of anything, and then the assist, Kamehameha assist on top of that, that's just fantastic. Uh, ooh, doesn't oh. get the combo there. That's a really tight timing, actually, uh, to get the uh, down medium off the assist, or off the vanish. Okay, tag out here, very smart. Get Frieza in there, give Cell time, a little bit of time to get refreshed. Yeah, and... Uh, okay, and I want to see... Uh, I was seeing some uh, combos to get the snapbacks into uh, getting the other characters out. Greg not getting his opportunity. This uh, That is a dead trunks. Yeah, but uh, Greg save, sitting on full seven bars. Yeah, I wonder what he's saving it for. A lot of resources to use. Okay. And a hard tagging like that, not very good. Um, can get punished very easily. Yeah, kind of getting away with it there. But, yeah, Greg just kind of missing the conversions there. Ooh, Ooh that's nice a... Nice 2H. Yeah, that's a raw super dash punish right there. JCT's got to hold it out with Frieza. Still, a win, a win is still possible here. Yeah, with Sparking Blast, that's that's a great resource to have. But Greg opening up with the combo, still not spending it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just misses it. Unfortunate. Well, and not able to DHC with that combination. And Sparking is in play now. 
Yeah, but not a whole lot of health left on Frieza. That might still just be one combo. I'm pretty sure if uh, Gunno can get a level three going off here, it's over for Frieza, yep. even with the sparking. And uh, for those who aren't familiar with Cell, that, that string that uh, Gunno just did, full of frame traps. So if you press the button there, you're getting hit. Yep. Oh, but there we go, the Dragon Rush. Gonna kill the Cell. Yep, gonna kill the Cell has an opportunity here. And they're both at seven bars. And we've got the classic. I wonder if we're going to get a dramatic finish here. Oh, OK. Spots the fucking blast a little bit too early. Does not confirm the combo. Uh, sometimes if you don't expect things to kill, then you're like, oh, I am going to step back here, and you don't convert. So that's what happened there. Unfortunate. Okay, throwing it out there. This is actually really close here. And 39 seconds left. Yeah. They're both. <laughs> and because they're only one character, like, you can't Ooh, assist. there we Ooh. go. Dragon Rush finishing it off. Yep. Okay, looking smart there with the keyboard. No dramatic finish. That's why I want to see. I want to see more dramatic finishes. That's Frieza and Goku. Should have been one. Yep. I mean, that's why I like Frieza's level one. It just, like, hits you, and then you get the huge explosion afterwards. Not a whole lot of level ones do that. And uh, again, starting off this game, Greg taking that last one, clutching it out. Okay, here we go. Big combo to start it out with. Let's see what he can do with it. Ooh, and the extension. Oh my goodness. Ooh, so pretty. The attack <laughs> here. Ooh. That's some classic Marvel stuff. That's, uh, that's pretty optimal. Yep. In terms of sell, anyways. Oh, uh, yeah. Not spending a whole. I think he didn't even spend any bar on that, if I'm not no. mistaken. So, you will definitely take that. Okay, Level well, three early in the game. Yeah. JCT opting for the uh, opposite strategy will use the bar. Yeah, Greg spent a lot of time uh, saving that bar last game, and he's doing it again. Doing his best to optimize really early. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just misses that. JCT has his own opportunity to get some started. He does like the Dragon Rush, actually, after the combos. I, I've noticed that about him. I was playing him earlier. Okay. He's gonna spend that bar. Oh, he's gonna spend the bar to DHC, get Cell out of there. And again, do everything you can to save those characters. Can't save it enough. Uh, can't save it Ooh, enough. Very nice confirm. Confirming off Trunks' assist. And this gonna be a hard knockdown. Here comes another setup. And, and that might be a dead Cell. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That instant trans transmission there always gets me. I'm like, oh, what if they didn't? What if they didn't did the yeah. wrong one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's when you're playing, you're always like, I hope he did the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's that little pause in the cutscene. It's like, oh, I want it. Oh, and the oh, that's not going to hit. Yeah. And that's a hard punish. Yeah, JCT getting a little bit desperate here. You cannot do that in this game. Too far in the bracket for those. And Greg opting to keep it simple, not going for any crazy s setups. Uh, just went for uh, waiting for to see what JCT would do. Oh, nice 2H. That's dead Goku. Okay, JCT. Better get those Dragon Balls to re revive him. <laughs> it actually doesn't revive you with a whole lot of health. It's just like 20%, I, I believe. So. I believe the best one to do is just health, uh, depending on how much health you have. And then there's uh, also extra power, which gives you another Sparkle Blast. So. Hey, JCT with some pressure here, backs off afterwards. Yep, and Gr Gono definitely pre playing the game right. Not getting, oh, oh my. that Heat Dome is command grab. Yes. That's a lot of barter expend, but uh, gets the kill. Yup, just do it. Oh baby, I like it raw. Okay. Sometimes you gotta check your opponent. Yeah. Like, don't don't push my buttons. I'm gonna check you every once in a while. Yeah, JCT tried it earlier, and Greg was ready. And uh, JCT was not. Oh, I love seeing those uh, destructive discs come back. Just those little touches in the game. They're like, yes, they watched the show. <laughs> Respected lore. They should hit Frieza on the way back. <laughs> yep. And they do. And they do. They thought of it. I was pretty sure I saw that. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. It hits him on the way back. Exactly. It's like, wow. Also, even like little touches like 18 also has uh, a Destructo disc just because yeah. uh, Krillin. 
Okay, and uh, JCT having a kind of a resurgence here. Uh, Greg opened up early, but... Oh, this is not good. Yeah. Oh, going to spend just one bar. Not going to kill. And there's sparking. Yeah. There we go. Okay, but JCT is way up here Ooh, in health. That's going to be... That might be dead regardless. Okay. Going to have to probably use a level three. Yep. Yep. And, and it's 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, JCT bringing it back. Uh, catching it. Clutching it out. And we got close games here. It's always very exciting because it's week one. You just know it's going to get more intense from here. Oh, yeah. When people start labbing stuff out and then everyone's going to be doing stuff. Yep. And, of course, Revenge of the Six, not a single tournament, but a series of tournaments for Dragon Ball Fighters here at the uh, 381 uh, Red Bull Projects. Um, so it's not just this. If you miss this one, uh, there's always next month. Uh, in March, um, and I'm sure the guys will provide the dates at some point. Um, but uh, it's very exciting, uh, you know, for Joe to really put this event on because it's like he's a very well-known Smash uh, organizer, oh. and uh, it's great to see him trying out something new. Um, and uh, obviously, your tournament formats are a little bit different than what the FGC is used to. Yes, we so. have the uh, round robin into into pools here, and uh, that's uh, like Joe really likes the amateur bracket and it yeah. again if you are watching the stream and you have not attended tournaments like this is a great series to start out with because uh, again joe does like ha running those amateur brackets gives people uh, a little bit extra well, gives a little bit support. more uh, value um to their to any fee right so yeah. it's like and it's fun for everyone because you know you get a little bit more time to hang out and, and meet people so it's uh, it's a lot of fun hmm. uh, but obviously here we're in the pro bracket uh jct and greg going at it looking to stay alive in loser's bracket. The loser of this goes home. Yeah, and this time JCT is starting off with uh, an early lead. Greg falling behind. Trunks is taking lots of damage. Oh, goes for the setup. Tries for the reset. Not going to spend the bar too early. Oh. And that trade on the button. Oh, oh yeah, the nice. Dragon Rush. And that's a dead Trunks. JCT is looking <laughs> so clean here in this third game. Sal getting his revenge. Oh, yeah. Like, no. I'm the real one. And uh, yeah, Gray's gonna have to pull a lot back there. They both have six bars, so they have uh, equal resources, just three CT sitting on two extra characters. So it's a real uphill battle for him. Okay, that's it, Super Dash. Yeah, gonna eat those quick moments. Yeah. Spending all the bar. It's not going to kill, uh, and Greg still does have that sparking blast, but I guess forces him to pop it, so I guess you take those. Yep. JCT getting a little greedy and going for the uh, super dash after his setup there and gets uh, raw 2H. Yeah. Even though you have three characters left, this is a game that definitely allows for comebacks, so you don't want to give your opponent anything for free, even when you're up. There was lots of times where I've been like trying to style with Ginyu. I'm like, oh yeah, it's such a good idea to try to body switch. And that's here. another character that I think is going to be really interesting to watch in the, in the near future. Ginyu, oh my a lot God. of nasty tricks. Oh uh, yeah. The other one I saw was that uh, Nappa. Nappa also has nasty setups with the Cybermen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are yeah, those are real optimizations that people are going to have to get used to because like you can't really control the Cybermen. You just have to know. And same with the Ginyu Force. You just have to know what order it is. What character's going to come out and assist you. But once people do, I, I really I really love me some Ginyu. But Greg... Going to try and kill that cell. Not going to do it. He does not have Gohan with him. And don't look now. We have six Dragon Balls on the field. Okay. And JCT's going to take it. And uh, Grono goes home today. Yep. He actually uh, placed second in uh, opening day tournament on Saturday last week, oh. uh, only losing to Ryan Ken.